Hi everyone, my name is Rishi. I'm the co-founder of Digital Scholar and today we have a very special guest uh, who is the product manager at Pepper Content which basically handles everything from content ideation to delivery and also manages peppertype.ai which is uh, the artificial intelligence platform for writing content at two clicks. Thank you for joining uh, the show Pranav. No issues Rishi, I think thanks a lot for inviting me. Um, I think really interested and really uh, thrilled by the thing you're doing, training people for digital marketing, which is the thing uh, right now. And I think uh, content is the future. And I think you're early on uh, already training professional on that. So kudos to that. Kudos to you on that. Amazing. Amazing. So uh, Pranav, uh, I've been uh, personally using Peppertype for Digital Scholar, right? Uh, it was launched back in AppSumo. That's how uh, uh, we found out about it. And I'm on the monthly plan right now. And the entire team is crazy about it. So we want to understand from you on in terms of the background. So uh, how many people uh, work for Peppertype or how many people work for Pepper Content? How many content writers have you gathered? Some story about uh, the company. And then probably then we'll go jump in uh, to a demo for the audience here. Got it. I think um, around, right? So let's uh, talking about the team. Uh, I think we're a team of good 80 people right now in Pepper Content Model. Uh, it's a full fledged content ma uh, marketplace. Uh, so we are a co managed content marketplace uh, wherein we have businesses on one end and creators on one end. Uh, we like to call them creators because now we have expanded to or uh, design translation. We've also started doing video. So uh, it's not just writers now. It's, uh, it's a whole bunch of creators. On the one hand, we have businesses. Uh, so we've gathered over 3000 plus clients on a client right now uh, um, with leading brands such as Facebook, Amazon, all these global brands work with us to create some of their content. Uh, then we have creators from one end. Uh, so till date, uh, Pepper has received over 90,000 applications from creators all over India. So we are expanding to uh, global creators right now. But yes, we've till date received uh, over 90,000 applications. We work with the top 0.5%. So let's say we work around 5,000 uh, 5, to 6,000 creators. And uh, uh, we give them work on a very uh, freelancing basis. So every writer is given an assignment. And based on their choice to work on it or not, uh, they're being paid. Right? Wow. So we do not have a single in-house creator, not a, um, not a writer, not a designer. Every content is outsourced. Um, uh, we don't create any of the content in-house and they work on a very work to work basis. So almost imagine it as an Uber model. So an Uber driver, right? Um, however rights uh, they must do, they're being paid according to that. So they can also choose to accept or deny a right. Uh, similarly, a paper writer can uh, choose to accept or deny an assignment based on their availability, based on their interest. And uh, that's how they're being paid at the end of every month. So uh, how Pepper started was, and I think I'll tell you the story behind Pepper Type as well. So how Pepper started was, um, so we have our uh, co-founder uh, Anirudh and Rishabh. So Anirudh was uh, freelancing back in, uh, I think, 2016. Uh, he was uh, freelancing for a, uh, on the uh, marketplaces such as Fiverr, Upwork, and he, has, he had his uh, internship in Your Story Bangalore. So he found these marketplaces to be very unorganized, and he had to spend a lot of time bidding for um, assignments he had to lower his price value and uh, not being able to get assignments at that workflow and it was very difficult to have a standard pricing across the market and he realized that uh, this is a very um, unmanaged marketplace and maybe something can be done in this category so yes we i think uh, then uh, that was all i think we started working um, out of a dorm room in bitspilani for a team of seven people uh, all bitsians at that at that time and then we started working full fledged on pepper content so uh, we start. We worked on an agency model at the start. Uh, so we got, I think, around 20, 30 writers um, from Pan India. We got from someone from West Bengal, someone from Karnatak, and we got all these writers. And we were t we told them, Ki, "Hey, this is how we'll operate. Uh, we won't ask you to negotiate on your behalf. We'll do all the business negotiations for you. We'll tell the client what is the price, and we'll get the assignments in. You'll just have to work on that assignment, and you'll be paid your standard rate. Right? You won't have to bid for anything." So these 20, 30 creators who have been uh, the longest with us, the, they joined us. And uh, I think, yeah, we started reaching out to clients on Facebook groups. So frankly, there are a lot of uh, Facebook groups of around content, around mm -hmm. content writing. So we started reaching out to clients from there that we are an established company. And instead of write, getting uh, work from individual creators, you give the work to us, we'll assign it to 20 creators and we'll get it done for you. So that way the business, for business, it was very convenient that first they have a single point of contact 
second they have a quality assurance so we do not just write the content we get it done uh, we uh, we do uh, software checking on that we do manual editing on that we get it checked through subject matter experts and all of that so this uh, quality assurance and third is a paper ka label right so right now uh, it has become a thing in the market that hey this content is for paper content so means it will be uh, of that particular quality wow right hmm. so yeah i think uh, that's how we started and uh, fast forward to 3 3.5 years i think the team has been growing expan- exponentially uh, we started doing a proper product model now we're no longer working on an agency model it's purely automated so let's say if you as a business come on paper content and uh, you sign up you place your order so our ai and ml models so recognize the assignments they um, read the brief they understand the assignment title and everything and they automatically find the best fit writer out of the 5000 writers right wow. so it works on your previous experience what on uh, what all brands you have worked with what all content that you have written in past so uh, let's say if you're a lifestyle writer you won't be assigned technical content which is out of your niche right so you'll be purely assigned, assigned the lifestyle uh, lifestyle content that comes in and it's automatically done via our recommender system. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have automated most of the process and that's how we've been able to scale to over 3000 brands right now. Most of the agencies in India, what they'll do is uh, they'll probably work with the top 20 brands and that's how they um, stop, at a, stop, at, stop at a point. It's not a scalable business as such. So what we've been, been able to do uh, with the product is we've been able to manage operationally um, scaling very fast, right? We've been able to, uh, so right now in our operations team, all the people who handle, let's say, let's talk about the text category majorly uh, who are writing the content. So we have only two people in the operations team who allots all the articles, right? So only two people have been able to manage uh, lakhs of word going out in a, every single month. Wow. So that's how we've been able to achieve that operational scalability with the product. And uh, I think uh, AI and ML has been able to uh, pull off a really major role in there. So that's when uh, I think last December uh, we uh, saw GPT-3 come out. Mm. So we're all tech tech enthusiast people. We're all engineers from the uh, Bits Pilani uh, College, and we saw GPT-3 come out in news, and we saw content use cases around it. So we definitely had to get a hint of it. So exactly what uh, what is it that it do? Mm. So we got in touch with a Bits and senior, and uh, we started exploring the playground. We ex- started exploring what this technology can actually do. So we played around for it, I think seven days and we realized that it could be a good content tool, but we realized that it works majorly in short form content. Mm. And uh, it's been a problem uh, with us for quite long that we have not been able to ideate content for all the clients, for all the customers that we uh, have today. So we'll tell them, Hey, if you have a blog idea, you tell us, we'll write on it. If you have a content brief, brief, we'll write on it, Mm. but we've not been able to create that brief for them. Right. So with this tool paper type, we could create uh, unlimited blog ideas in a second. Right. We could create intros for them. We could create a lot of stuff. And uh, that's how we got interested in the technology. And uh, we thought of launching it separately as a product instead of launching it inside paper content directly. Mm-hmm. We wanted to get a fair idea. We want to get a fair shot of it, uh, of what it can do for the creators and also for the businesses. So we built out the tool in just 15 days, I think with the help of three uh, amazing interns. I think we had three tech interns in the company and they just started out. So we wanted to give them a hint of uh, what Pepper is. So we wanted to try their hands on a new product from all together. So they were able to uh, build out the whole product in just three, uh, in just 15 days. These three people, these three amazing interns, uh, they built out the whole backend infrastructure. They built out the whole front end and they built the MVP in just 15 days. So the point was MVP was just to get six content types up front, mm-hmm. show what the tool can do. Uh, we chose blog ideas, we chose social media captions, uh, we chose some tweet ideas and uh, um, so similar content types like these and just wanted to put it out to all the businesses that we have today, all the customers that we had uh, back then and all the creators we had back then and get their opinion in on what do you think uh, this tool can do. So within launching it, I think uh, in the first month, uh, we had around 10,000 users using it actively. So definitely, I think the uh, tool got really viral really soon. And uh, we started uh, seeing revenue coming out of it. We started seeing all the creators, all the customers loving the tool, loving the design, loving the product, and actually loving the output uh, that Pepper Type would generate. Mm. So we decided to build out a separate team for it and uh, carry the tool as a, a separate entity altogether. So cut uh, forward to today, I think uh, we closed December, uh, we closed 2021 at around 100,000 plus users. And uh, 
people have been loving the tools so far. We have added uh, more and more content types and we have got around 40 content types on the product right now. We have established a separate team for Pepper Type. Um, it consists of seven people right now. One being myself, uh, one being an engineer leader, uh, engineering leader, one being a design product designer, and uh, again, uh, three amazing tech people who do the, all the uh, dev work on the product. Wow, Pranav, this is so inspiring uh, to see uh, you grow from 20 content writers to almost 5,000 on full automation. And I'm sure it's only uh, bound to increase exponentially right now. And also the product uh, has just come out in 15 days by interns, which is pretty shocking because I think it was one of the most amazing products on uh, AppSumo looking at the reviews and stuff. So congratulations on uh, on this, pretty inspiring. And so how do one apply for uh, the content uh, if, if they want to work with you? What is the procedure? How do they get qualified as a content writer? Got it. So I think it's fairly simple. You go to peppercontent.io. Uh, you can check out our website and you can apply to be a creator there. There's a single uh, link button that comes on the top. You can apply to be a creator. Uh, there's a, a form that you have to fill in, uh, which basically talks about your qualifications or, or what you've done and what type of content you've written in the past. You have to do a basic grammar test uh, that's generated live there. So you can just pass it on. It's fairly simple. And then you have to do a copy test wherein we write, uh, tell you to write a one paragraph about something. So you have to submit that assignment and we get back to you in a week or so. Uh, our editorial team checks the content and they assign you a pay level. And if you're okay with that uh, and we start working and you get onboarded as a paper creator. So on the creator end, you have a dashboard. Uh, so what Anirudh uh, back then imagined was uh, getting all the work at one place. And right now, uh, the um, scenario of freelancers in India is that they have to do, uh, other than their craft, that let's say we're talking about freelance writing, right? So other than your craft, which is content writing, you have to do a lot of stuff which are not uh, the best at. You have to do the business negotiations. You have to follow up with the client for payments. You have to negotiate on the price and then you have to finally um, uh, take care of delivery. You have to do all the uh, reworks and everything. So these four things which you do not, uh, which a freelancer should not really have to do, we take care of all of that. You just get a dashboard uh, and you assign with us. You uh, get your WhatsApp number registered with us. So whenever you will get an assignment, we'll ping you on mail, on your dashboard and on your WhatsApp that you've got an assignment. You've got six hours to accept it or deny it. You can go through the brief. You can understand the payment. You can understand everything about it. And then you can start to uh, work on it once you have accepted it. Right. So let, yeah, I think you're mute. Yeah. Uh, uh, so only one person gets it or uh, is it that uh, a pool of, uh, let's say 10, 15 content writers and whoever accepts first uh, wins the uh, contract? No, 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 no. Uh, at one time, only you get it. Uh, after the time has passed or you have redacted it or you have uh, denied it, then only we redact it. Not so you have the full six hours to accept it or deny it. Uh, so let's say I've accepted the assignment. Then I start working on it. You get a Google doc automatically created. You just start writing in it. So we want to ultimately take out everything out from the writer's perspective and we want to give them just a Google Doc, just a blank canvas to write on. That's what they do best, right? So you start writing the content and once you're sure of it, you can uh, uh, submit it. Once you submit it, we show you the live uh, tracking of what, this what that assignment is going through. So you can see it's in editing right now. The editor, editor has marked some comments on it if they want you to rework on something slightly. So they can uh, you just get a notification. You can go back, you can add your comments. You can also uh, make the edits and you can submit it again. Uh, once you submit it finally, and uh, uh, you can um, see the assignment that uh, it's being served to the client right now, it's being delivered. Once it is delivered, the client can also mark some uh, comments, some reworks, or they can just approve it simply. So once the assignment gets uh, approved, you can see it in the earnings tab. There's an earnings tab that you can see that, hey, uh, you submitted these many assignments this month. This is the pending amount that will be uh, paying you this month. And uh, this is the your, this is your past invoices and everything, everything on the earnings tab. So as the month end comes near and we pay all the creators, so you can also raise a ticket that, hey, I'm not being paid the full amount. There's some discrepancy here and you can get an understanding of that. Other than that, you can see all your month's payments, all your historical payments, all the payments that we have made, made to you and all the assignments that you have being paid off. So it's a live tracking of all your finance. Awesome. Amazing. And what is the uh, number of uh, limit or what is the number of people that you want to onboard? I mean, what is the vision? Like how many content writers? There's no limit to it. There's no cap to that. I think, yeah, uh, we're actively hiring across content writers, content editors, content design, uh, graphic designers, all of that. 
there is no cap as soon as long as we keep on putting more and more clients and uh, the vision for the business team right now and i think personally under this that uh, there are only going to be two types of companies in this world one who are using a uh, paper right now and one who will be using paper in the future so they want to keep on putting all the clients and that's how we keep keep building the creator pipeline as well amazing awesome so uh, pranav uh, would you uh, like to show us a demo through the platform of uh, peppertype.ai and i personally love few features which is one is engaging social post right and it creates like uh, quick questions i use it for my facebook group um then my uh, team uses the blog intro uh, particularly as well so uh, show us uh, some really cool hacks or whatever uh, you think would be uh, nice in terms of you know for social media or probably for seo um and people can learn a lot uh, from this entire uh, show here got it i think i'll just uh, present my screen and talk about some of the popular use cases on peppertype right now okay got it oh uh, Can you see my screen? Is it live? Yes, yes. Yep. Uh, so this is how the Pepper Type dashboard looks like today. Uh, we're adding a bunch of features right now, so I uh, I'm in that mindset right now. But yes, uh, this is how the all the content types are listed here. You can see all the most popular content types as well. You can see all the ones that you recently used, and there's obviously a list of all the content types. Uh, so these are uh, some of the use cases that it's uh, being used for right now. one being social media so you can filter out all the content types or uh, copywriting seo e-commerce and product so let's say talking about social media first um, i think we have built tool for facebook twitter linkedin um, and uh, uh, instagram so you can use social media captions to generate really engaging captions for your social media picture it can be on facebook instagram or twitter again uh, you can generate ad copies for facebook uh, using this tool so uh, it's optimized for your keyword it gives you options such as uh, your audience etc then uh, you have youtube in this as well so you can create ideas for your youtube channel uh, so this is a really uh, hit tool between the creators right now uh, so the thing with pepper type is that uh, you can obvious uh, you can always use one content type for another use case as well just because it's named youtube video topic ideas doesn't mean it will give you uh, just youtube topic ideas you can use these ideas for your newsletter for your blogs for your uh, social media posts anything right mm. let's say uh, if i'm using this uh, tool so uh, i can just name this project let's say uh, demo and uh, what should this video be about i have to enter a topic on what channel uh, on what content do i create right now so let's say if i create tech review videos or if i create a uh, car review etc i can add in advanced options such as uh, some keywords that i want to rank for Okay. So do I don't have really any keywords? So I'll just enter the topic and I'll just create some content. Mm -hmm. So what the AI does in background is um, it understands your niche and it gives you uh, these topics you can work on. So best laptop for college students. What is the best smartphone under two hundred dollars? Best gaming laptop. Best car speakers. Top ten best gadgets of the year. Top ten cars of the year. How to best buy the best car for my budget. Okay, I think bunch of stuff here. I think, uh, I think I really like this first topic. I think best laptop for college students. This is the thing that's being searched by people every single year. Whoever gets in the college, they start yeah. searching this kind of thing on YouTube. So top five tech gadgets that every student should have for gaming for studying. You can create an create an individual uh, video about these. Mm -hmm. Top five gadgets for a digital nomad, for a traveler. Um, by top five car car technologies. Mm -hmm. top five tech invention i wish i knew these five tech tips when i was 20 so i think a bunch of interesting titles so uh, what our content experts has done in the background is uh, so been creating this content for 3 years we understand what kind of content works in which platform right so uh, if you uh, closely look at these titles uh, these topics these are titles that you'll probably see on youtube right now mm -hmm. it's been owned it's been formed just like that and uh, Uh, so you get these ideas within a second, and you can just start saving bunch of these whichever you like, right? Amazing. Hmm. You can also uh, make some edits right here uh, if you want to make some edits to it, and then just it just updates the uh, content here. You can save all this content here, and uh, instead of doing uh, instead of uh, searching it for uh, searching it on YouTube, instead of going to various websites to research those ideas for an hour, I get five ideas ready to be published in an hour in under a minute, right? I can also download all these in a CSV and take it off Pepper Type if I want. So uh, yeah, so uh, this is how you generate these um, 
topics. Uh, I can also use these topics exactly same topics for my uh, newsletter as well. So that's not an issue. Then uh, you go back to home and uh, uh, I think you can uh, look at all these uh, more content types. So there's engaging questions. I think this is a really uh, hit content type as well. So it generates some um, uh, questions around a particular topic you wanted to talk about. So I think I'll cover this in the poll better. Uh, so this is a content type that generates poll questions and answers. So I think a lot of users started requesting uh, these uh, polls that uh, you can post on uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn and uh, group on your, yeah, all these uh, community-based channels. So you can generate all these uh, polls. I think I see a lot of polls on LinkedIn today. So personally, I'm not a very uh, heavy LinkedIn user. Uh, so whenever I go to LinkedIn, I just see a lot of polls on uh, polls there on a bunch of topics. So, so where, where do you spend your time on which platform? So personally, uh, I spend a lot of time on product and on Twitter. That's my two main channels of social media. So Wait. yeah, I think let's say uh, demo social. I will just name this as uh, demo social. And uh, the topics I want to talk about here is let's say uh, I'm talking about product management only, or I'm talking about product hunt. Right. Mm -hmm. So advanced option, my uh, audience, let's say product managers. And the tone of voice I want to keep is friendly. Uh, I don't want it to be very professional. Some people like it very professional. Some people like it informal. Yep. What's a favorite product management tool? It's already pulled out these four, four popular product management tools as well. What's the biggest mistake that a PM can make? Not being able to communicate, not being able to have a good vision, not being able to identify the right problem or being biased towards the team they're working with and not being objective. I think these are very, um, sounding like very human. And I think I really like this particular question. Um, so instead of getting the GAN from somebody, you are asking the mistakes that um, you can make. What's your favorite part about being a product manager? Well, when do you start your day? So bunch of these uh, four tools, I think I like uh, these three personally. Wow. So um, basically yeah. I was, uh, we, I'm working with an intern as well, who was creating content for my Facebook group. And I told her to create polls, right. And yeah. she used to come up, uh, uh, on her own, right. It was, it was just a manual process. I didn't know about this feature and this is only going to make, uh, my life easier. So, uh, this is pretty awesome stuff. Yeah. I think, uh, this is, uh, this content has been a hit, uh, People love this content type and I think I saw a lot of uh, posts being generated through paper type. So definitely very interested to know how it uh, actually gets on the social media and what's the response there. But yeah, uh, the best thing about paper type right now is that uh, it's a, almost imagine it as a well of unlimited ideas. Mm -hmm. So you can never run out of ideas with paper type. If you don't even like these four outputs or if you end up using them, you can just create on more outputs and even without changing your brief at all, you can get all more ideas. Mm. Right. What's your favorite thing about product hunt? So right. the community, the product discovery mechanism or the humor. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, I think, uh, that's a great, really content type. Uh, it's a, that's a, there's a tool called personal bio. Mm -hmm. You can generate your personal bio for your resume, for your LinkedIn, for a lot of things. I think, um, uh, it can be done. So, yeah, I think these are some content types that people use for social media today, uh, even engaging social media, uh, or engaging social posts that you just talked about. Yeah. So let's say um, if I'm talking about uh, a brand, let's say Nike. Yeah. So Nike is a leading manufacturer. So keyword I want to target is let's say shoes. Mm -hmm. So what uh, these this particular content type does is it generates one-liner, very uh, interesting, very engaging uh, one-liners uh, that you can put on your Twitter, that you can put on your Facebook, etc. So yeah, um, if you're looking for running shoes, make sure that you go, for, go to a good show store and get a professional to help you with the selection. So what are the best sports shoes you've ever used and what made them good? So I think everybody has this particular story with them. So people can start sharing that. Mostly it basically brings out questions, right? So that people open-ended questions and people can just engage with that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A uh, new pair of shoes, like a new pair of friends, I think. <laughs> nice. I think this is a really nice tweet. People who are serious about sports wear. Wow. Yeah. So uh, about particularly questions that let's say uh, if you want to generate per, uh, questions, uh, you can just enter here. And let's say I'm talking about marketing and uh, copywriting and content. Turn of voice, my audience, let's say marketers. And turn of voice that I'm going to use is friendly. Yes. 
so uh, once i enter these three topics uh, it will generate open ended questions as you said um, these will be the questions that you can ask the users or maybe have your own opinion as well so what are some of the things that you do to improve your content as a marketer what are some of the common mistakes that content marketers make what are some of the ways you uh, to improve the content uh, that you produce for your business uh, what are some of the ways to make your content stand out i think uh, i really like this first, first one everyone says marketing is important yet sometimes i get the feeling that marketers spend too much time on unnecessary marketing and when they could have just have a, had a good product or service what do you think i think this is a pretty controversial question <laughs> are you a consumer of marketing is it effective should marketer uh, charge more than the service i think how a marketer can be seen as more valuable to the company so this is a perfect post for the audience of marketers let's say if you're in a community of marketers this is a question that you want to talk about this is a question that you can have a webinar on all together mm. right so um, it's actually on the user on how they want to perceive a uh, uh, output of paper type how they want to they can turn it into a um, let's say book as well mm. so we've seen people uh, so recently i saw a user writing me a mail that they'd have written a whole book using the content from paper type editing it uh, editing it a little bit here and there wow. and they were able to write a full book of 60000 words in a week using wow. paper type and they they're selling it on amazon right now and wow. they sales about it it's all about solving a problem doesn't matter how you get the content you just have to pick up your own brains and uh, this told me that they've always wanted to sell a book on amazon but they've not been the best content writer and they did not have the budget to hire a content writer but they had the knowledge in their mind they had the direction that they wanted to talk about they just used paper type to generate all that content and been able to pull off a whole book wow. so i think oh, i am really happy to get that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's all about how you end up using it. I think I've been a power user of paper type myself for a year, so I've been able to see all these content types, see all the use cases very clearly. But you, being a user who's coming on new to the platform, uh, you have to spend some time. You have to try out all these content types, and then you get the hang of it. Okay, uh, whenever you have a uh, use case in your mind, then you know which content type to go to and how, uh, like, what kind of output would it generate. Mm-hmm. so uh, i think i can personally uh, have a question in my mind that i want to gen- uh, have a webinar and i can uh, come to engaging questions to get the topic for it so this uh, this is a particular topic that can be used for a webinar that can be used for a book that can be used for a social media engagement post and all of that that how can a marketer be seen as more valuable to the company so personally i am not a good content writer <laughs> i hate um, writing content myself and uh, so what i do is i pick up this question and let's say if i feel like uh, one of those days when i want to create content on my linkedin uh, make people know that uh, hey i am still alive so what i do is i'll pick up this as a question and i'll post it in core answers directly um let's say for on our social media right i'll put it in here and um, if i want some things to be included in the answer if i have some opinion of mine i can put it in here or i can just leave it blank as well so how can a marketer be seen as more valuable to the company um i don't really have any input on this particular topic so i'll just leave that blank i want to keep it very friendly i don't want it to be very gyan heavy so i'll just keep it friendly and i can let uh, the ai generate some answers for me what i can do here is i can quickly make some edits i can uh, accept or discard some results so it gives me whole paragraphs of content now so the best way to be seen as more valuable is to bring more revenue that's very direct right in order to do this you must be innovative and keep learning if you show your boss that you're willing to learn and always looking for uh, to improve his business then you'll be rewarded so i personally as a person would do this improve their business i hate um, gender uh, specific noun gender mm-hmm. specific all the uh, pronouns and everything so i'll particularly make this edit in this particular result right now if you bring an investor to the company it shows that you're willing to do more than your job this will be noticed by your boss However, you must understand your business uh, company's needs and work hard to fulfill them. I think this is a good result. This is a really good output. I think I'll remove the investor line. I think that is too far. But uh, I think I like the line that if you show your boss that you're willing to learn and always looking to improve their business, mm-hmm. if you're uh, uh, that uh, dedicated, then you're then you can be seen as a more valuable uh, marketer. Every company is a business. It has a goal to achieve and it has to keep the customers engaged. most of the companies have to make quick decisions that they could affect their profit margins as a marketer you have to be top on your game your skill should possess a unique skills techniques that can um, be of great help to make effective decision you should be the one uh, you should be the person to take up challenges yes i think this is a great answer as well 
that whenever in a brainstorming meeting when you are thinking of whoever will do the uh, whatever job you should be the person who can stand up and take up the challenge that seems the most uh, challenging job you should be the person that should be standing up to get that particular challenge on to you and find a way to do that that way you can be seen as a more valuable uh, person so i think bunch of results i really like uh, these so you I can just copy paste and probably add some pointers here and there and create like a full fledged core answer yeah yeah uh, and i can uh, i particularly think so i've uh, conducted a session on how to create uh, engaging linkedin profile so uh, for that i had to first get active on linkedin for a week i had to keep seeing all the posts all the kind of posts that people make today so i uh, if i had to break it down i think um, what i have seen people do is people break it down uh, they first start with a question so let's say uh, if i'm yeah creating this content just give me a second i think yeah so uh, what they'll do is they'll uh, start with the question and uh, they'll write uh, their opinion their answer is about it and they'll just add it to that call to action last year so what do you think uh okay maybe subscribe to my newsletter or my follow my profile um if you are a something like that right so they'll end it like this so this is a full fledged linkedin post that i've been able to create without doing any of the struggle myself so uh that's how you create a linkedin post that how you create a facebook post so let's say if you're running a uh, community of full of marketers uh you can uh, have such q and a once in a week and you can generate use by better to have that content uh, to get that uh, content in so yeah one of the use cases i think uh, has been pretty much this uh, you can also use this in seo uh, so i think let's uh, when say when i start talking about seo so seo people pretty much think it's all about writing blogs so um, i've been a marketer for 7 months uh, myself and uh, i've done majorly seo i've done a little bit of social media but i've been majorly in seo so uh, what i've understood about seo personally is and i might be wrong here but this is just my experience so what i've uh, understood about seo is that it's all about building links for your particular website getting more traffic in organically that's your end goal uh, you reach you can reach there however but that's your end goal as an seo marketer you have to get more traffic organically to your website without spending the money right so one way to do that is uh, write blogs on uh, topics that people search about Uh, right that's one uh, that's one way to do that second you can write a uh, content uh, across the web anywhere in the reddit forums in quora in facebook communities which links back to your website True. right that's way you uh, people write uh, people read your answer people read your post and they can come to your website if they like it right that second way so first uh, the first way is called first party uh, seo third second way is called third party seo right you bring websites from another traffic or you get that organically from google right so uh, i think for uh, the first party thing uh, for writing blogs on your website we have created these tools bunch of blog ideas blog conclusion blog intro blog outline blog ending expander so these five tools when put together creates a whole blog so you can obviously uh, see our session uh, it's called paper typing 101 you can google it it's completely free you can see the uh, paper typing 101 sessions wherein we create a whole blog live on the uh, video live on a uh, session webinar and we create a blog on random topics such as a dog food company right we create a blog for them so uh, you can use all these content types here uh, can we create a proper 2000 worded article via these uh, five tools itself Yep, yep. You can do that. You that's uh, fairly simple as well. Wow. You can do that fairly simply. So let's say if I'm talking about uh, blog ideas. So um, what I'll do is uh, I'll simply add in demo. Oh, I can have a brand in my name. So let's say uh, if we're talking about the Soul Store, right? Uh, you have uh, you know about Soul Store? It's a yep. clothes and apparel brand. Yes. So is it the T-shirt company? Yes, yes, yes. That's the yep. Soul Store. creates um apparel and uh, um accessories based on merchandises such as okay, friends so all these uh, they merchandise uh, all these uh, brands okay. and it found it for them uh, yeah so let's say friends and etc their major target audience is millennials and 
So this is a very uh, random description that I end up for the brand. So you can obviously describe your brand better than this. But yeah, uh, what I've done is I've given a basic idea on what they do. Uh, they create uh, apparel and accessories. Uh, they do it for uh, Marvel, friends, etc. And the major target on, audience is millennials and Gen Z. It's obviously better to describe a target audience. So the tonality is kept like that. Mm-hmm. But that's not a necessary thing. This is a completely subjective field. So yeah, uh, what Bo- uh, Soul Store does it, uh, what uh, Blog Ideas does it, it gives you uh, some really great, great blog topics. Why millennials love the Soul Store. Designing with a brand purpose in mind, a blog about how to create a t-shirt or apparel brand. How to become a comic book aficionado. I think how to make money with merchandise, how to stay motivated. Uh, I think it's already gotten the competitor in Redbubble, Think Geek, Society Seek, uh, things from the Marvels and inside look at the Soul Store. I think I really love this. I really love the language. I really love the um, uh, idea behind this particular topic. Mm. Right, the power of Gen Z. An inside look at the uh, uh, Soul Store, the market. Right. So Amazing. it's talking about um, so Soul Store as a business. What you can also do is, let's say, if you don't want to talk about the business or if you don't want to talk about Soul Store, you want to talk about more generic topics. So what you can also do here is, um, you can enter in just the keywords. So I want to talk about Marvel. I want to talk about the big bang story. Mm-hmm. Talk about I think um, how I met your mother. I think I think yeah, maybe I think he'll the product will get it or not. But I just put in these four topics that hey, I want all the people who are searching on Google about Marvel or the Big Bang Theory. I want them to come to my website. The best shows to watch on Net- Netflix. So this is not directly related to the Soul Store, but people who are on Netflix right now or who are watching these shows would want to come on Soul Store apparently. So that's called your top of the funnel, mm-hmm. right? So five shows worth watching before turning 30. It's a really great topic. I think it's an interesting topic. So yeah, how to watch The Waking, Walking Dead online. How to be a superhero. Why should get uh, custom cartoon portraits. Possible blog. Uh, why Friends is a, still a much wo- uh, must watch TV show for all the Friends lover. Friends, yeah. So you should uh, uh, host a Friends Cut Trivia. I think I love this. Yeah. Talk about Friends Trivia. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very uh, clickbaity topic. So yeah. personally, if I'm a friends fan and I read this topic, I'll be definitely like, oh, damn, I want to take this. You'll want to click and you'll see that. It, it just hurts your ego, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just hurts. It just directly talks to my ego there. And I think I also love this topic. A guide to gifting a hymn or friends themed housewarming gifts. It's a very particularly niche topic. But if someone uh, Googles about it, so it's also got on a keyword, right? Um, housewarming gifts. It is a keyword. Or maybe friends themed housewarming gifts. People search about them. Okay. So I can save all these topics. And let's say uh, if I'm talking about this and I just copy this blog topic, I take it out and I want to know the flow that I can maybe talk about. So I enter this blog topic directly from paper type into this other content type. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think. So outline, okay. I can give you a table of content on a more generic topic, I'd say. Oh, I think it's talking about uh, friends in general. It's not really talking about, okay. Yeah. All right. Now it's finally talking about the TV TV show. Hmm. 10 friends facts that you might've forgotten. One thing you never forgot, one thing you never knew about Phoebe. I think, yeah, interesting uh, this. 10 behind the scenes facts about friends. Amazing. Mm. It's talking about the episodes here. What's the history of friends? I think I really love this. What is the studio in the red coats? Okay, I love this particular outline altogether, right? So let's say if I like this particular result as well, so I'll pick this up from here and I'll add it here. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's uh, now, now I have my blog topic. I have my blog or table of content and I can start writing with the intro, the conclusion and I can have a uh, content under each heading using this blog heading expander. So, um, thanks trivia. Oh, just, yeah. So, uh, one thing you never knew about Phoebe. Let's see what the AI can generate here. I just hope that it gets what friends we are talking about. Yeah. 
so lisa uh, could have played the character of ursula in mad about you so i think um, i've been a personally uh, i've been a friends fan mm-hmm. and i have known this fact and i'm really surprised that it has uh, decided to pick this up i think lot of people doesn't know this that um, the character of ursula which was the counterpart of uh, phoebe was picked up from another series altogether that series did not air as well wow. so I think, yeah i love it so that's how you generate content for your each heading and that's how you write a blog uh, and this is non plagiarized right that was non plagiarized content uh currently all the uh, we do a plagiarism check at the back of pepper tape so uh, right now we have seen uh, one in a one in a thousand or let's say one uh, one in a thousand result seems to be 5% or 7% plagiarized which you have taken out mm-hmm. but rest all the results are non plagiarized it's the ai writing in real time mm-hmm. so that's how you can create a whole blog in under 10 minutes without writing a word yourself Wow. second thing is obviously uh, answering questions where people ask it right so let's say if you are a pet food company right and you go to all these platforms like reddit like a uh, community based uh, i would say platform facebook groups and you have a pet food company and you are trying to get leads in organically you are an seo marketer so the way i suggest doing it is uh, going to third party platforms where there is already traffic right where there is already a, a daily pla- uh, traffic coming in mm-hmm. and you just try to get a chunk of it on your platform you go to all these communities you join all these communities and you start answering their questions so let's say uh, i am a, a dog owner and i ask the question on this community that hey um, which brand is best for my dog uh, uh, what uh, food should i what things should i check before buying a dog food this is a question that i ask on a community and you being a dog food company marketer you should be able to answer that question uh, you can use pepper tape to generate the answer for that there is a tool called answers and uh, without even knowing the things you can answer that question and you can ch- tell ki hey uh, i'm linking my brand here if you like this answer if you think it provided you value you can check out our brand we take care of all these things for you right so being a user i see hey this guy has answered all my questions this guy has provided me value and then it's linking his brand so i'll probably accept that right that's one way to do seo and but ultimately i think uh my uh, personal uh, perspective on content on writing content on posting content anywhere is that um, always try to provide co- value through your content mm-hmm. if you're creating content just for the sake of creating it i think that's a waste of time of uh, that's a time a waste of your time and the person reading it right okay. fair enough there's no uh, formula that you can use so a lot of clients come to pepper say that hey uh, 30 din mein meko is uh, keyword pe first rank chahiye meko la ke de do tumhe jitne block create karne hai so we like okay <laughs> like that's a task that's a diff- very difficult to achieve but the actual key is just to provide value to the user right so the seo the google guidelines also take care of it right now so i keep up- i keep myself updated on seo and what's going on there and google also tracks ki okay agar tumhare paas uh, if you get a visitor on your website how much time does the visitor spend on your website mm-hmm. do they actually just come off and come on your website and take off that's a negative sign for your seo mm-hmm. so you should be able to provide that value to the users so that they stay on your website they do the clicks and they do uh, they have a positive experience that's the only way to create all this content pepper tape just helps you with that mm-hmm. uh, i think the last use case and the major use case on pepper tape right now is e-commerce so uh, you can see all these content types amazon product title ad headline product bullet points and product descriptions these are all optimized for uh, amazon right now so uh, i think a lot of people uh, who are using pepper tape uh, they do e-commerce they do drop shipping uh, all of these uh, businesses wherein they sell products on uh, websites on uh, their own stores on amazon etc so what they need help with this product description the product description uh, we have researched quite a bit about it so product description is definitely very difficult field to fill in it has to be grammatical grammatically correct it has to be optimized for some keywords it has to be in a very storytelling format again if you are being very promotional if you are just talking about yourself uh, it's a negative sign for the user the user needs to be uh, enticed with the story that you are selling right so there is a very basic difference i think you uh, must be also telling this in your courses that being a marketer you have to always think about think about everything from a user's perspective you can't talk about your features that hey my product can do this and that and that the user does not care about it you have to ultimately sell them a story of what the user can achieve with your product right that's the basic different difference right there that uh, 
instead of selling a flashlight you sell them uh, the light in their lives instead of selling the uh, mattress you sell them the comfort of mattress mattress so uh, product descriptions need to take care of all of that and uh, i think we decided to create this content guys which has been uh, really popular so what it does is you just enter your like product like sell the benefits not the features right? yeah sell the benefits not the features exactly so you just enter in all your features here and we write a perfectly optimized product description for you mm-hmm. uh, i think i've provided an example of uh, some i think uh i don't know what is this product right here but i think support provided some example here you can create all these content types here uh what we also do is uh, we provide an api for paper type so a lot of e-commerce folks uh, reached out to us uh, that hey uh, we have an e-commerce website we do let's say uh, apparel we do uh, we are a fashion brand and we want to create product descriptions for our 6000 products in one go can you do that so yeah we've been able to do that uh, in under a week we've been able to create all these product descriptions using just an api call perfectly optimized so product description has definitely been one of the most popular use case and uh, yeah i think that's it um, so, there are yeah. the yeah. commerce one reminds me of a, a story one of my student uh, from the 3 months program she was into uh, e-commerce and uh, the uh, the biggest glitch was she was like one person army right she had to do everything Yeah. So when I introduced this tool to her, I guess it was like the free plan available, right? Ten thousand words and all of that. Within that, she was able to create uh, uh, the entire product description. And till this date, she thanks me for introducing the tool. You know, so this That's is. Not, yeah, I think that means a lot. Uh, yeah. yeah. so that is very commendable so i you know after even uh, the course got over uh, till that uh, when i was doing a review with her and the only thing she said was uh, you know it just helped me and i was able to do this and scale up quickly so uh, kudos to you guys uh, this is pretty awesome awesome thing that you're building uh, for all of us and uh, just makes life easier right thanks a lot rishi yeah that means a lot amazing uh, pranav so i guess this brings us to the end of this particular interview and uh, i'll be very honest it was an eye opener for me i learned a lot myself uh, the biggest takeaway is going to be that poll generator and right after this the video gets ready i'm going to shoot it to my uh, content team and ask them to watch it and produce the content from here so pranav amazing amazing stuff uh, super excited i'm sure there are a lot of new things also upcoming for paper type and uh, wish you guys all the best for everything and thank you for taking your time thank you thank you rishi for hosting the and i think you're doing a really great job again and wherever paper type can fill in i'm happy to you know always uh, have a chat and cooperate awesome see you soon take care bye thank you bye take care